Spooky, scary skeletons, they watch you while you sleep. They won't do anything, however, unless you make a peep. Hey everybody, I'm TBG Hunter, and welcome back to more Costume Quest 2 The Quickening. Last time, we made it up to the French Quarter, we got ourselves the Pterodactyl costume, we also got ourselves a better candy pail, which is still ridiculous because it's nothing but a potato sack. And we also uh, got all but one of the houses up in the French Quarter, so... But before I do that, because I almost actually lost track of it, we're going to want to head over to Shady because... We can look at my candy mount. I did a little bit of uh, uh, ah, I can't talk. A little bit of grinding, so I got over a thousand pieces of candy. I'm gonna switch to the candy corn costume because we are going to grab its upgrade. So we're gonna get some brown paint to put on our candy corn costume, and I love what it does because it actually changes it aesthetically. In the field, you actually see well, there's the brown paint. It replaces the yellow on it. And the brown paint. Of course, uh, gives candy corn more defense and makes it enemies target it more, which is probably the most invaluable upgrade you're gonna get if you try to go for the hard corn mode achievement. Because yes, that isn't a thing, and that is to have candy corn with you in every single battle in the game from here to the end. And if you're like me, you've already tried to attempt it. If you're also like me, and you actually did it on your first run of the game just to knock it out, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry for you, buddy. But anyways, let's just knock on the door and do some trick-or-treating. Knowing my luck, it's actually going to be, yep, it is a fight. You know what? I'll show the fight. Because, why not? I mean, it's the last house, so this villain, is the villain, villain of villain's sake deserves a little bit of recognition and a little bit of attention. It's not going to last long because it's going to die, but, eh, you know. So, we'll have Ren attack the current combatant. I forgot how high enemies' health actually get. Uh, we'll have Renald take out the combatant too, since it's weak against that machinist. And Monty, is he? He's weak against monsters, so we'll have Monty attack the machinist. Bounce, bounce, and boom. I actually love the clown's, like, secondary attack. It's actually probably most hilarious because he just, like, does the cartoon style running towards them. Whoa! That's bad because Ren is weak against machine-type enemies. I should probably take that thing out fast. You know what? Eh. I'm debating should I use its ability or not. Eh, what the hell. And I did. Okay, I guess I attacked you. I think that stuns them for a, an attack. Oh, whatever. Ren, take out this combatant, and of course you're hanging on with 11 things of health. Monty, take out the Machinus so it doesn't attack Reynold again. Or Ren, because she's still weak against it. And of course, knowing my luck, still holding on with a sliver of health. Oh, it weakens them and damages them. It's kind of like a poison thing. I forgot that's what the Pterodactyl's special ability does. Alright, well, finish off that guy. And that does it. All the houses have finally been cleared in the bayou, so let's go talk to Little Bones. Okay, that's the last house. Let's get this ridiculous pile of candy to Little Bones so we can get to those witches. Inconsistencies! That was supposed to be a burlap sack. What the heck? That brace face stole our candy. Hey, come back here. That's our treat. Eat home. Our ticket home. Oh, I'm stuck with this 141 pieces of candy. Shady, do you have anything that can... No, you don't have anything that could make me feel better about myself. Damn you. 
think we made a wrong turn. We definitely made a wrong turn. All right, we have to go back this way, I believe. Yes. Possibly. Wrong way. I is bad at directions. That's not the right way either. It's up this way. I keep forgetting because it... Does the map actually show you where you need to go? No, it does not. So you, you kind of got to do a little bit of exploration on your own. Because where you need to go is back up to the French Quarter, of course. Hey guys, it's him. Oh no, leaves! Whatever will we do? Oh, thank God we don't have a wet cycle. Oh God, I forgot about that enemy placement. Oh no, what will we ever do about this pile of leaves? It's not like we can just blow them over with our pterodactyl costume. All right, let's go. You still candy from me, I'm still candy from you back. Hey kid, give us our candy back. Oh, hey guys. Sorry about that. It's just that my mom won't let me trick or treat. I wanted to try so try candy so bad. I guess I got a little desperate. Cool costumes, by the way. You've never tried candy before? That's crazy. What is this? Who are these bats, Oral? These are just nice kids, mom. We were just talking and stuff. What have what is that you have there? Where did you get this? That's our candy. Oral was just borrowing it for a bit. You gave my boy candy? And what is that you are wearing? Are those costumes? That look on her face just sells that line. Mom, they were just Go inside, Oral! It's time to brush your teeth again! And you, take this poison away from here and get off my property. That's assault. If I ever see you near my boy again, teaching him the evils of Halloween, you'll be sorry. That's a threat. We can actually call the police on you for doing that. You threaten us and assault us. Howie, shucks to be that Sucks to be that kid. I think that kid is our dentist. Gee, Ren, whatever gave that away? Could it be the fact that he dresses as him and has his teeth showing 24-7? You know, like how he does? Oh, whatever. Actually, you know what? Before we do anything, because, yeah, Reynolds is actually kind of weak from that last battle. We're going to heal up. Also, Ren was actually kind of weak from that last battle. I should have probably healed up before we... I actually know the cutscene messed things up. Whatever. Let's just head down and talk to Little Bones and get on our way to hopefully saving Halloween. Here's your candy. This is the mother load for sure. You wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get it for you. I wouldn't care if you told me. Give me that candy! You don't have to be such a jerk about it. So, ready to go to the witches now? Hey, are you ready to go? What? Oh, y yeah, okay, let's go. Of course. That's not good. Can you fix it? We really need to meet those witches. Do I look like a boat mechanic? No, you look like a skeleton. Exactly, and skeletons don't fix boats. Not to overgeneralize. Anyway, if you can find a mechanic to fix it, I'll take you over there. Otherwise, I'll be here eating all this sweet nectar. And getting a very, very creepy, like, glowing eye thing. Stop it! Do you want to... You threatening me, boy? Skeleton thing? I'll make a xylophone out of ya. Well, since the boat's not working, there is actually a boat mechanic over here, as you remember from the last time. 
Our friend's fan boat broke down. Can you help us fix it? Of course I can. That's what I do. I couldn't call myself a boat mechanic if I couldn't fix a dang fan boat. Great. Come with us. It's just over here. Now hang on for a sec. That's going to be cost you 50 bucks first. 50 bucks? That's expensive. Ain't no charity, kid. I got a mouth to feed. You bring me 50 bucks and I'll give you back... I'll get you back in the water in no time. Is that mouth to feed your own? Because you could probably save her a few things. Okay, okay. That's actually too mean even for me. Well, we can't... The only job that we know of was back in the little jazz bar over here. And we couldn't do anything about it because we didn't have any music cred. So when we talk to the music people playing over here, maybe they'll offer us a spot so we can jam and get some cred. If you want to jam with us, you're going to have to get a crowd first. Drum up some interest or horn up some even. I heard there are witches in the edge of town. I wonder if they sell crafts. Some of those statues moved just now. Oh, hey! I was so entranced by those statues, kids! They're cool, but they don't make any sound. Yeah, you're right. They're pretty quiet, I guess. You'd be better off taking in a free concert over there. Free?! That's my favorite kind of music! Why is it his character looks so familiar? He's like a fat version of a character I remember from an either former media or game. Hong Kong. Ow, my ears! Can't you see I'm waiting in line? Well, there's some live music starting on the other side of the square. No lying. Live music, huh? Tempting. But I do really want to try this jumbo shrimp gumbo. I heard that this food court uses fake shrimp. What? I'm allergic to fake shrimp! Where did you say this band was again? Yay for ruining someone's business to fill our own agendas. Wow, that made me sound like a terrible person. Hey, what'd you do that for? Can't you see I'm enjoying this crazy kid over here? He's okay, but have you heard the authentic French Quarter music before? Ne no, can't say I have. Is it good? I mean, can't you hear the it in the background? It's amazing! See for yourself, they're about to jam in the square over there, even though they're performing right now. That's kind of weird. Sounds cultural. Maybe I will check it out. Alright, well... Looks like we drone them up some business. I'm gonna smack this just for some extra piece of candy. Thank you. Uh, good enough yet? Okay, rounded up some spectators. Yeah, you did. Wow, we haven't had a crowd like this since ever. Three people. That's kind of sad, you know? But there's only three people. Yeah, I know. Don't get a big head. Okay, you ready to do these horn parts? We got a really tight... Got a... We gotta really be tight if we want to impress the crowd. I motion to you when it's time to honk. Don't mess up. Musical Adventure Part 2! I don't know why, but... Ren in the Clown Costume Dance is probably both the most funniest thing ever, and also the most adorable thing ever. I never expected a clown horn to be a pe the piece we're missing. You definitely earned music cred. I bet Word will get around. Word will get around so fast you can immediately get a job for it. You can also immediately get a level up for it. Well, now we got some music cred, why don't we head back to the jazz bar? Who knows, maybe there's a job offering now. Say, aren't you those kids that have been hearing and playing mean clown horn in the streets? Are you? Oh, you've heard of me? Heard of you? Tourists won't shut up about you. you want a gig with us? We got a show starting soon. Pays 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Sounds cool. I'll get my clown horn ready. 50 bucks to honk a clown horn? That's probably the best job in the world. Do you think it? Thanks for coming, ladies and gents. I'm Harmonious. Mink on the sax.
That's my main man, Slim Willy, on drones. Check out Big Daddy on the bass. Bass, whatever you would call it. And those sweet clown horn styles. Stylings are the one and only red. Make them talk, girl. Well, kid, that was some slick wor horn work there. Here's your 50 bucks. You earned it. Thanks, Mr. Mink. It was an honor to play with you guys. Ain't no thing. You sure you don't want to sneak out the back door to avoid the mob? <laughs> Just kidding. There ain't no mob. There ain't no back door. There's also no mob. Just get 50 bucks right up front. I should run more gigs like this. If I do a second job, I'd pay 100 bucks. I could probably make about 500 bucks in less than 30 minutes. Alright, we got your 50 bucks here. Ooh-wee! Now we're talking. 50 bucks! Somebody's eating good tonight! Yeah, not us. Can you fix our boat now? Ain't no need for that. All you need is this. What's this for? I just fixed your boat. Are you serious? We didn't pay 50 bucks for an oar. This thing is only worth like 20. That's true, but it costs 30 for labor. Labor? What labor? I ain't got time to explain the intricacies of my business, kid. It's complicated. Besides, we're closed now. Rip off artist! Now, come back to make him pay another time. But for now, we got a way to get into the witches. Let's just go, even though it angers me to no end. Hey, little bones, we got an ore. This will work, right? Oh, hey, you found my ore. I was wondering what happened to this. So not only did he rip us off on an ore, it's also a stolen ore. I won't be as fast as the fan, but it'll do. Let's go. His eyes that were just glowing from the fact he was still eating the candy is still one of the most terrifying things. Of, he's just looking directly at you. This may take a while, and by a while I probably mean like an hour or so, and by hour I mean week. Those witches of yours live somewhere on this island. Good luck finding them. This is my stop, too. I'm out of here. Feel free to use the boat. Well, wasn't mine anyway. Wow, we are just running wild with all this stolen property. And, of course, the boat gets fixed now. All we needed was a good smack. That's the thing with most technology. You can fix it any way, any shape, any form. All you just need to do is give it a good smack. An obvious nod to Blair Witch. Also, speaking of which, I don't want to run into that. We're falling hell so we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna smack these gators because why the hell not? Now, before we go to those witches, because do we have the map to this island? This island doesn't have a map. There's something to do here. And that thing is right up here. Well, one of them. Well, actually, no, wait, this is the thing. We have to fight the most deadliest of all creatures. Not a giant terrifying clown creature. It is... A mole! A very, very heavy metal mole. A deprived mole, exactly. That um, sounds kind of disgusting. Well, since this is technically a monster creature, the clown costume is actually a good start for it. Wait, what? Oh, no, wait, the clown costume's weak again. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. All right, well, this thing does average attack, so we'll just hit it with this. Monty is the strong one against the mole, so we'll have him attack it. So 
going for Monty. And I fail. Good thing he's weak against Monty. Uh, I don't want to waste a creepy... What do I have? Chosen heroes ignored by all enemies. Cuts a man's health in half. And a full heal. I don't want to waste one of those creepy, cre <laughs> creepy trick cards. You know what? Eh, screw it. He's almost dead anyway, so might as well just finish him off. One full set from all three of us should be enough for him. I guess I could have used this fight to show off the new aesthetic of the candy corn costume. I, I promise I will show off each costume with, with its upgrade. But for this fight and for the fight that's coming up, that's not going to happen. Also, we got a new creepy treat card, and also we got a piñata. Filled with explosives, apparently, because holy hell, that explosion was huge. That day, we got a fair decent amount of candy back. And let's stop back at that water fountain, because I need to heal up for what's coming ahead, because we're actually going to be going into a boss fight. Keep avoiding these crony combatants and all that stuff. Hi! And, hey, looks like we found the witches, and you look very, very familiar. Dorsala? We're here to warn you. You are in danger here. What? Don't sneak up on me like that, even though you're right in front of me. Dorsala? Do I know you? Uh, nope. Never seen you before. And why are you trying to rile me up? Let me eat my, roast my marshmallows in peace. This is odd. Hey, kid. You guys are in some serious danger. You kind of look like Reynolds for some reason, though. From what? How do you get here anyway? There's a dentist coming to steal some sort of talisman from you. Dorian? Why would that den Why would a dentist want our talisman? That's ridiculous. My dad's been guarding Monster Gate since he was a kid. The last thing he's worried about is some stupid dentist. Ha! Seriously, it, it, it's literally... God, they look so similar. I, I think the hairstyle changes because he's wearing a superhero costume, but seriously, that is a straight-on Reynold. Could I crack the code that Dorsala and Dorian are actually versions of Ren and Reynold? That, ex that explains why they can do costume magic and stuff. If that's true, my mind just immediately just went... Pfft. Yeah, but then again... Kind of seen as this as their parents... Maybe they were taken away as kids to, to hide what they truly are. Holy shit, I'm breaking my mind here. Hey, excuse me, sir. I need to tell you something. Hey, little one. Does your mom know you're out here? Thanks for your concern, but this is an emergency. What's the big emergency, then? Our dentist. He's crazy. Made some sort of pact with a time wizard, and... He's headed here right now to steal the talisman from you. A dentist, huh? Well, I can assure you that we can handle any dentist that comes this way, kid. Now, can I interest you in a gator burger? We have plenty. Well, that's kind of sad because we saw a couple of gators back there. Were they using them as food labor to for burgers? That, that kind of depressed me. Excuse me, ma'am. You're in super big danger right now. Oh, I know this place seems creepy, but we've lived here for years. Nothing to worry about. Do you want to join us for some barbecue? You guys aren't getting it. Our dentist is coming from the future to steal your talisman. I don't know how you are about this tal know about this talisman, but I can assure you of one thing. These burgers are delicious. You guys should join us. Uh, why won't you guys listen to me? Halloween is at stake! Calm down. Look, I've got the talisman thingy right here. It's fine. Be careful with that, Dorsillo. Our family's been using this to keep monsters from coming through the gate for generations. I doubt some dentist is going to suddenly travel through time and take it. Behold, ironic convenience! I'll take that. Dorsilla! Dorsilla! I saw what you did to the future, Dr. White. We aren't going to let you destroy Halloween. Let me. I've already done it. Say goodbye to your disgusting tooth rotting holiday.
ever told you how much I just love Grubbins? That does it. This ends now! Yes. Yes, it does. Granoculus. Well, he, he looks old and decrepit. You know what? This may be an easy fight. We may be able to beat this guy easy. I mean, he's a time wizard, but you know what? We got two magic strength characters. I think that's good. Oh, God, he's terrifying. You might have been able to stop my cronies, but you cannot stop Chronoculus. Oh, God. All right, so boss fight with Chronoculus. He's a straight magic user. And the thing goodness is we have two characters who are actually strong against magic. So we're going to start off with just a basic bounce attack just to whittle him down a bit. All right. Going to hit him with a sweet justice to knock his health down a bit more. That's right, Reynold. You throw that bus full of candy at that time wizard thing. And we're going to hit him with a pterodactyl so that we can continue decreasing his health a bit. This is actually going to redu do reduce damage, I believe, because he is Monty sweet. No, no, actually, Monty has no strength or weakness against it, so good. I'll save from that. Can't really do anything. Uh, full heal, because it means health in half. I don't think that works on boss fights. And chosen heroes ignored by all enemies. I'll save that for if anyone starts getting themselves into a bind. For, but for now, we're just going to continue bounce attacking on them. Because he's almost done, believe it or not. Well, you can believe it, because you can just look down at his health over there. Flying Fist. And that does it. He seems to be dead. Oh, of course not. That's fine. My cronies can help me. You're wasting your time. I can turn back the clock anytime I want. So, yeah. This is bad. We can't kill him so long as that clock's there. And we got two mechanical b strength enemies. Ren, or Monty, on the other hand, because I've been using the tear it up the costume is rent a lot can't really do much you're gonna want to focus all your attack on that clock of his you need to destroy that otherwise this fight will never end well technically it will end when he kicks your ass six ways from Sunday he's weakened from that thing weak sauce is being put on Ren of course so we're gonna have Ren attack the clock That's right, you body slam right into that clock, Ren. All right, Ren will attack the clock. And basically, you want to break this clock and then immediately go after him. Don't have to worry about the crony enemy he summons. Just focus on Chronoculus. And I targeted Chronoculus himself. I am an idiot. Monty, don't be like Reynold and attack the damn clock. Damn, I actually hit it with an amazing. Refreshing. Yeah, he full heals himself. Why is it? This fight lures you into a false sense of security because, you know what? It actually seems pretty easy at first, and then, nope! Alright. I don't know what's going on with my controller. It keeps auto-targeting every enemy on the other team. I got to see about that. And I have Monty just attack Chronoculus himself because he does reduce damage to that Chronic Mechanist, Mechanist, Machinist, whatever it is. Time freeze again. I don't know exactly what this thing does. Okay, I think I think it's a silence thing, or it makes it harder to defend yourself. No, it stuns you. That's what. Probably should have just saw what the thing did when he did the stuff for the thing and the other thing. I'm sorry. I am super sorry about this lackluster content, ladies and gentlemen.
Alright, Monty is starting to get a little weak from that. Mm. I'll save it and just have Monty use a creepy treat card so that he's ignored. I, oh shit, no I can't. You know what? Creepy treat. Caramels. Caramels, whatever. Uh, chosen hero. This one. Bubble Barf. Give that to Monty. Still terrifying with those eyes. Alright. Reynold, you punch him in the face. And you punch him in the face again. That was a terrible timing. Alright, who's he freezing this time? And he's freezing Reynold, of course. Just when I have the thing that can do heavy damage against him. I guess for now, just keep bouncing into him until his health is weakened again. Alright, health should be low. He's gonna pull this clock again. No, he's doing another, another time freeze. And of course, he hits Ren with that one, so more bad things. And of course you poison Ren. Anything else you want to do to poor Ren? No? Okay. Since we didn't take out that crony, he doesn't have to summon the ones. Alright. And now Reynold is poisoned. Alright. Blind fit. Sweet justice. Hit that... Actually, no, wait, no, save that sweet justice. Just hit the clock. My time finished! I'm naked without it! Alright, we're just gonna hit him with our super move. You put those goggles on, Monty. You dive bomb that time wizard, Monty. Oh, I thought that would be enough to take him out. Uh, of course, not in my luck. Quick sauce can throw that on poor Ren. I feel so sorry for her. Whatever. Just, just body slam him and be done with this fight. No! Oh, oh. How did you defeat me? I can't wrap my head around this. I'm so just so tired. Hey, we got Frostbites! It maxes out one hero's special ability. And all the cronies just go scattering into the forest, hopefully to be eaten by gators. I didn't foresee this outcome. Oh well. Hey kids, thanks for helping us with that fight. It was greatly appreciative. How could the Chronoculus get free? That's impossible! Yeah, I thought we lo I thought he was locked in a, a cage proof in a time proof cage. And how did that dentist even know we that we had the talisman? <whistles> that was messed up. At least we have the clock. Can't do any more dam any more time traveling. We need to get back to Everett and Lucy. Hope that Hope that time hole is back where we left it. Are you okay? The Chronoculus got free. How is that possible? I think I don't know how you were able to defeat him, but thank you. Let's see what you have to say. No, I'm not okay. The monster gate is open again, and we're powerless to stop them. I know you tried to help us. I'm sorry we didn't listen. Yeah, you should be sorry. Dorsella? I can't believe I lost the talisman. Congratulations, you killed Halloween. Oh, no wonder she becomes such a hateful monster of a semi-human being because that fight with her wasn't really human at all. I never saw Dad get bested before. Who was that crazy wizard? I don't know, but he's a bunch of little crazy wizards now. Let's talk to the Grubbin because he's just like, Hey guys, I'm here for the party. Finally, I can't believe I got through. Now what do I do? Go back? Is this how you welcome monsters? I don't know your customs. Ah, I love grubbins.
So I totally didn't run from that fight like I was a coward because I was weak from the boss fight and the enemy just decided to jump out of the side of the screen that it let that it gave me. You know what? I'm gonna drink this water. I'm gonna heal up. We're gonna head back to where we started and then we're gonna call it a video. I'm angry. Because even though they were still searching for the talisman, that he already had the talisman and we killed their... I don't want to say their boss because they're parts of him, so I guess their original holder together? I don't know. What I do know is that we need to head back to where we first came to the bayou because they're... Well, let's least to say shit officially hit the fan. I mean, we can time travel, kind of, because we don't have, he can't go back in time, but he still has the talisman, the thing's still open, and now the portal's not here. The time hole's somewhere over here. Where'd it go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I think when we took the clock from Chronoculus, we made it impossible for Everett to steal it from him in the future. So? Can't we just use it to open a new time hole? Hmm. Maybe. Nope. I don't know how to work it. Does this mean you're all trapped here? We can hang out more. No, it's not cool. We need to get home. I know. What are you doing? Oh yeah, that's genius! Why didn't I think of that? Hey Monty, I need to do us a huge favor. Sure, what? I need you to remember where I buried this clock. Uh, do I look stupid? You just buried it in front of me. How could I forget? I mean, you have to remember for, like, 20 years. 20 years? Why? Because in 20 years, our friend Everett's gonna live here. You need to tell him that this clock is buried under his house, so that he can get it, get us out of here. Okay, Everett, 20 years. Got it. 30 years later. Monty, you promised! What? I will, I promise! I won't forget! Sheesh! Is that really how time works? You, you'd think they'd have to wait the amount of time. You did it! Thanks, Monty! I did? Well, I told you I would. Seriously, I'm, I'm not a time... Time study or whoever... Whatever the thing is, like, people who study time and space and all that stuff. Is that really how time would work? I guess this is a goodbye, Monty. Thanks for everything, Monty. Bye, guys. Also, thanks for your clown costume. I know you worked so hard on it, but you know what? We're stealing it. Thanks, bye. Hey, guys. We know you were able to stop Chronoculus. That's, that was good. Dr. White won't be able to manipulate time anymore. But nothing here has changed. So, he must still have stolen the talisman, huh? Yeah, sorry. He sicked this wiz time wizard on us and snuck out. Even though he didn't really sneak out because he was still there even though we kicked his ass. What are we gonna do? Open another time hole and escape? We're not leaving without our daughter. You guys have a daughter?! I need an adult! Costume violation! Costume violation! Guards, get this infernal thing out of here! Yes, Dr. White. And bring me that clock. No! You will never use this again! 
Lucy, what did you do? We'll be stuck here forever. You should not have done that. Guards, take these two away and throw the book at them. Throw the book at them? What book? Just put them in jail, you imbecile. Lucy, Everett! It looks like these little lawbreakers need an education. Enroll them in the Tooth Academy at once. Ah, hey! Get off me, smelly grubbin! Those kids look... familiar. Uh, well, it's a dystopia, but how could it get any worse? Oh my god, I'm back in school! Ah! After which, we're gonna have half hour recreational flossing. Alright. Who can tell me about Halloween? It's a hall where they keep weenies? No, Brett, it is not a hall where they keep. It's a fort! <laughs> Duncan! No more outbursts from you! <laughs> Oh god, this is my nightmare. Being back in school! Well... I guess we're gonna have to live this nightmare out next time. So yes, next time on Costume Quest, we're gonna do what hopefully every kid plant dreams of doing during school hours. And that's breaking out of school! So, see you guys next time. Later!